Hello everyone. Welcome to the new session on projection of solids that is projection of pyramids. This is session 5 on projection of pyramids. And in this problem 11, the problem says a pentagonal pyramid of base size 25 and height 50 as one of its triangular surfaces on HP. And you have to draw projections of this pentagonal pyramid when the top of the axis is inclined at 45 degrees to VP. And uh, they have asked you to assume base nearer to the observer. Now, do the pentagonal pyramid as I mentioned earlier in the same way. And get the corresponding frontier also in the same way what I have explained in the earlier session. That is session 4. Now, I have told you already, this pyramid in the front view, if it is completely tilted right, it will be resting on slant edge on HP. If it is completely tilted left, it will be resting on triangular surface on HP. In this problem, what we want is, the pyramid has to rest on its one of its triangular surfaces. That is why we completely tilt it left, so that it rests on one of its triangular surfaces on HP. Okay, in this position, we have to write one top view and uh, the procedure remains same. Get all the points D here and from here C and D on this B and A. The step one is complete the outer boundary and as you are looking from the top here, base is seen, darken the base. Now, it is the end of two steps. And if you count the number of edges, it is 5 plus 2, 7 edges, 4. Now you are to complete three more edges. One is OD, one is OA, and one is OB. Since OD is nearer, you darken OD. And OB and OA, for an observer who is looking from here, OB and OA are far away edges. In fact, it is on this triangular surface only it is resting. And the observer who is looking from the top cannot see these two edges, OB and OA. Hence, we make it dot dotted. And finally, show the axis here by taking the uh, projector. And axis in this case can be seen only between D and O1, though the axis exists between O and O1, since it is merged with one of the visible edges, OD. Okay. Now, what is happening here is, the problem here gives the top of the axis is inclined at 45 degrees to VP. Okay. We, what we do, you move, copy and rotate in such a way that top view of the axis is inclined at 45 degrees to VP and you know very well the second stage top view and the third stage top view should be one and the same. Now, once it is this, you are expected to write the final front view. In this position, when you look from the front here, how it appears in the front view is to be drawn. As usual, you take the views you take the points and join the outer boundary of these points. Now, as you see here, once you draw the outer boundary here, the step number one is completed. And step two, if you see here, step two, if you see here, since base is nearer than the apex, complete base can be seen. As a result, I darken the base also. Okay, now if you count the edges, you see here, here there are three edges. Now OCD is merged actually. It is actually three here also. Three here, three here, six, seven, eight, nine edges are already over. You should be careful about these type of situations. Some of the times you will, it will merge. You will not know how to count the number of edges. You see here. A line from O dash to D dash is passing through C dash. As a result, there are three points in this line only. There are three edges here. Three edges here. Three plus three, six. This is seven, eight, and nine edges are already over. Okay. Now you are left with only one edge, which is O dash, E dash. And for an observer who is looking from this direction. Okay. In this direction, O dash, E dash cannot be seen because OE is the far away edge and it is blocked by the solid. If 
But the observer is looking from in this direction. The back edge OE cannot be seen. Hence, O dash E dash will make it dot dotted. In that way, we are able to complete the front of it and finally draw the axis. Take the projectors. In that way, you complete the uh, pyramid in this position. That means a, a pentagonal pyramid of size 25 and height 50 has one of its triangular surfaces on HP with top is axis inclined at 45 degrees to VP. In this way, when it is in this complex position inclined to both HP and VP, you are expected to write on front view and top view, which has been written as this. Now, problem two is suspension problem. This, this is similar to the problem what we have done in projection of solids, that is projection of square pyramid. It is same as that. It says a pentagonal pyramid of base height 60 and height 150 is hung on one of its corners of the base. Draw projections of this pentagonal pyramid when the top view of the axis is inclined at 30 degrees to VP. Assume apex to be nearer to the observer. This is the standard problem. And as you look at this, the dimensions are big. You may have to take the scale at least 1 is to 2. Now you see here, it is a draw a pyramid, pentagonal pyramid as I described earlier. But only thing is you have to adopt a scale of 1 is to 2 since the dimensions are big and you can't manage in A4 size drawing sheet which is 210 by 297 mm. That is why you this is actually 30 mm. This is actually 75 mm you draw. Okay. Now since it is a suspension problem. Okay. On the axis, you have to locate G dash, which is very important. The G dash is located on the axis at a point one fourth of its height, that is 150. The totally it is 150. That means at one fourth of the height means at 37.5. That is one fourth of the total height, you locate G dash. Did you follow? In now you see here, it is a pentagonal pyramid. You have to manage 10 edges. A, B, C, D, 5 edges, O, A, O, B, O, C, O, D, O, E, another 5 edges, 10 edges are here. And in the front view also, 5 edges are here, 2 here, 2 here and 1 here. In that way, 10, ed 10 edges. Since it is hanging in the space, this problem, since the pyramid is hung, in the, hung on one of its corners in the space, first you have to locate the center of gravity G dash. That is, it is 1 fourth of the total height. If you have taken 150, it is 1 fourth of 150. If you have taken 75, it is 1 fourth of 75 is G dash. Now, you see here, it is, if you tie a thread to this corner and hang it in the space, the entire solid goes upside down. And if you, you, you can imagine, if I tie a thread to this corner and hang it in the space, apex comes down and base goes nearer to the observer. It goes upside down. And I have told you already, if this is G dash, if you consider a horizontal plane here, the weight below is equal to weight above G dash. Okay, that is the significance of the center of gravity. I am repeating again, if G dash, if you locate here, if you take a horizontal plane here, the weight below is equal to the weight above. Okay, now you have the, this is a problem of suspension. You hang this problem at D dash. D dash, you tie a thread to this corner and hang it in the space. When you hang it in the space, the line connecting the corner and the center of gravity will be perpendicular to XY line or HP. That means you see that D dash, G dash is perpendicular to XY line. Okay. You, that is move, copy and rotate in such a way that D dash, G dash is perpendicular to XY line. Now, if you see here, once you do this, the procedure becomes same. Get all the points in the other view. Join the outer boundary of these points. Your first step gets over. Then compare apex with the base. When you are looking from here, base is nearer. As a result, darken the base. Now, at the end of second step, come uh, uh, that is total the number of edges what you have done. 5 plus 2, 7 over. You are left with OD, OA and OB. OD is nearer to the observer. When you are looking from here, OD is nearer. Darken OD. And OE and OB, when you are looking from here, are the bottom edges, which cannot be seen by the observer since it is blocked by the solid. Hence, OE and OB are invisible. OD is dark. Hence, we are able to show 10 edges here. 
and finally show the axis. Axis can be shown only between D and O1, though it is from O to O1 since it is merged with one visible edge OD. Now, the problem says the top of the axis is inclined at 30 degrees to AP. When it is inclined at 30 degrees to AP, it is just second stage top view will be same as third stage top view. Move, copy and rotate in such a way that the top view of the axis is inclined at 30 degrees to AP. And also in the problem it says apex is nearer to the observer. That is why you tilt this way. You can tilt the other way also when base is nearer to the observer with the axis inclined at 30 degree. But you can't do at least here since the given apex should be nearer to the observer. Observer is looking from here, O is nearer. Now it is correct. You get all the points in the other view. And as I said, first step is join the outer boundary of these points. Once you do the outer boundary of these points, first step gets over. Now compare apex with the base. When you compare apex with the base, apex is nearer than the base. Immediately, remaining edges of the base make it invisible. You can't see the remaining edges of the base. In that way, D dash, E dash, E dash, E dash, and A dash, B dash, you make it invisible. Now count the number of edges. It is 5 plus 2, 7 edges are over. Okay, you are left with only 3 more edges. One is O dash, C dash, one is O dash, A dash, one is O dash, E dash. Now O dash, C dash, if you see from here, OC is the nearest edge. That is why we darken it. And O dash, E dash, and O dash, A dash, they are the back edges. When you are looking from the front, the back edges cannot be seen by the observer. Hence, O dash, E dash, and O dash, A dash, we make it invisible. And since OC is nearer, you darken it. Now, this is how you complete. And finally, show the axis. This completes the projection of solids, that is, projection of pentagonal pyramid, when it is hung on one of its corners of the base, with top of the axis inclined at 30 degrees to VP. This, at this stage, we come, we'll come to the end of session 5. Thanks for watching.